Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back in Star Trek Online. Um, I'm finally getting around to doing another loadout video. Um, because some of you have been asking me about shields and so on and so forth. So I just decided again um, to do my current build and just explain to the best of my abilities why I've chosen it. Okay, um, I wouldn't get too hung up on builds. Again, it's all dependent on how you want to play. Um, again, at the end of the day, it is a game, a social game. But, you know, um, if you want to make missions easier, or if you want to compete a little bit better in PvE or PvP, you know, there's options for everyone out there anyway. But let's get straight in to the thick of things, shall we? Um, my ship of choice is my Arbiter. So let me just move away from that running water in case anyone needs to, you know, have the call of nature and all that jazz. But, let's have a quick look-see here. Haven't really focused on my ground character at all, really. But here's my Arbiter, okay? Now, uh, let's just go through the general stats here. Uh, crew complement, 500. Uh, crew recovery, 5%. Uh, alive crew, 44. <laughs> Gotta work on that. Um, defense. So, actually, do you know, I'm gonna go through my stats when I'm in space. To show you my gear. Do 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 do. Um, I have an anti-proton build. So, I was running all beams uh, at the top, but I've decided to just have a look at some different projectiles here. So, at the moment, I just have a Radiant Quantum Torpedo in there, Mark 12. Um, but as you can see, all my beams are 14. At the aft, I have the Kinetic Cutting Beam, uh, which is really, really good. And I have that working in conjunction with my Universal Assimilated uh, module so that gives me plus one critical chance and 10.4 critical severity and gives me additional weapon power so i'm kind of leaning more towards uh an attack ship dps um i have okay recovery but um if i can get in there and get the job done i wouldn't need the recovery uh so much um also on the after the ship i have my omnidirectional anti-proton beam uh, that's mark 13 at the moment as is my cutting beam and I also have an omnidirectional, uh, another one, uh, the ancient one, um, that you can get in that mission. Um, 239, so this is Mark 13 as well. Um, they're okay. But um, again, I can go full on and have all my weapons firing as well. So you need to have enough power to do that as well. Uh, my recent acquisitions, I was running the Aegis set. Um, but I'm now running the Elite Fleet Adaptive Resilient Shield Array. That's the ADAPT, Adapt Cap by 2 Resilient B. Okay, so that gives me a maximum shield capacity of 7300, almost 74, with 5% absorption, 5% bleed through. Okay, and it also reduces uh, disruptor damage, plasma, anti proton as well. Okay, so there's some good buffs on that. Uh, in conjunction with that, I have the Elite Fleet Reinforced Warp Core. Okay, this is the, uh, as you can see, the AS Amp ECAP EPS SST. So it gives me additional shield power, additional auxiliary power, maximum shield power, auxiliary power buff as well. Okay, so, um, and it gives me plus 3.3 damage to all subsystems when I have more than 75 uh, or more power. So it's pretty good. Uh, my two latest acquisitions since the crystalline catastrophe is completed i've gotten dilithium to spend um they're only mark 12 at the moment but i have the romulan advanced prototype impulse engine from the reputation uh these two are from the uh, fleet store okay so you need to be in a fleet to get those by all means uh come to the 58th if you'd like to join a fleet <laughs> just send me um a friend request i'll show you my gamer tag at the end of this video um and i do i do need to be online so I can invite you um, when you're online as well. For some reason, I can't send remote. Um, I don't think that's a possibility. So uh, we must organize a time for everyone to meet up so we can invite to the fleet and get you guys on TeamSpeak and in the team channel. Um, okay, so again, reputation, uh, Romulan Advanced Prototype Impulse Engine. So this gives me a buff to attack patterns. Okay, uh, starship attack patterns, uh, flight speed increase, which would be the norm as well, and 25 shield regeneration per second to each facing while at full impulse. But again, this is a good buff for your attack patterns, so alpha, omega, and all that jazz. And uh, I have counter command deflector array mark 12, again, to be upgraded. This gives me a 5% boost to accuracy. 
And uh, we have energy weapon training. Uh, we have improved damage on that, improved kinetic damage. Uh, weapons training as well. So that should um, give me a buff to the cutting beam and projectile. Uh, it also improves hit points, shield hit points, and resistance to hold, disable, knock, repel, and slow. Okay. And we do have plus 26.2 starship particle generator so improves ecstatic damage so this seems to be a very good kit for the way i want to play um i'd like to do a shout out to some fellow fleet members here for giving me some advice on this um charles unimatrix queen uh, among others and dead man and a few other people in the community as well so thank you very much um i'm learning more and more each day on this game but um this is the kind of front end uh, the business end of the ship uh, on the back end, um, I have my vulnerability locators, again, available from the fleet spire. Um, I sometimes run three or four. Um, I also have... Uh, oh, no, where is it? Do, 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 do. I might have it equipped on another ship. But I had a projectile um, buff in here as well, because I'm not sure if four of them is giving me all the benefit uh, as three would. This is the science console from the latest... Uh, feature mission uh, which I have upgraded as well so this is really good um, gives me a buff to auxiliary power maximum shields critical chance and critical severity and reduces damage to shields as well so that's just an all-around epic piece of kit now with my arbiter it did come with the blaze of hazard shield I'm not getting rid of that lighting um, these are some fleet modules as well so we have a uh, conductive RCS accelerator okay so this gives me a boost to weapon power so when I'm firing all beams um, I'm still maintaining my DPS, and again reduces damage to shields by 10% uh, as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, we have enhanced neutronium alloy, so this gives me damage resistance uh, of 22.5 to kinetic, and all energy uh, damage resistance of 22.5 as well, but gives me a buff to hull repair as well. So this is the SIF module, again from Fleet. Uh, I'm in the process of upgrading these, uh, both of them are at Mark 13. Uh, we also have EPS flow regulator as well, so this gives me a buff to power transfer rates as well, which is always handy, handy, handy. And never leave home without it. Subspace field modulator. Very, very good. Um, pick one of them up. I think it was in one of the missions, I can't remember which one. And, you know, these are just my slots. I just, I forgot I had my scorpion fighter, so I kind of mix up between weapon battery and shield and stuff like that as well so i might just actually pop that back in there so that's my loadout here um as regards to traits i'm giving away all my secrets at the moment all my vulnerabilities uh we have accuracy uh crippling fire living hull point blank shot you know me i like to get into the thick of things uh we also have techie astrophysicists war theorist elusive and last ditch effort as well um starship traits my good old faithfuls we have desperate repairs which is great uh emergency weapon cycle the best defense and pedal to the metal reputation um 16 percent critical so i have uh, advanced targeting systems precision as you can see there's a theme here uh, tactical precision an auxiliary power uh, configuration as well, so it gives me uh, some extra buffs. Ground, deadly aim, lethality, omega weapon proficiency, and regenerative shield augmentation. And I'm slowly working on my active reputation as well. So I have medical nanite, and we have the refracting tetrion cascade as well. Now, um, do, 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 where am I going? Skills. So this is my skills loadout. Um, I'm just going to slowly cycle through them just to see if you want to retrain. This is what I've done with a little help from my friends. So let me just scroll down through engineering, science, and all that jazz. Oh, this is all making sense for you guys. Do, 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 do. And here's ground abilities as well. So weapon proficiency. PS Generator, Special Forces, Squad Command, Willpower, and Combat Armor. So, that's what I'm rocking at the moment. Um, Station-wise, for PvP, or PvE, I like uh, Fire at Will, um, Attack Pattern Beta, Attack Team, 
Um, I did have another tank team over here, but just because I have torpedo, I just wanted to have high yield as well. Um, we have Titan's Rift, we have Gravity Well, we have Reverse Shield Parody, never leave home without it. Um, emergency Power to Weapons, uh, which is always handy. Um, Aston Beam Array. Yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty much it. So, let me show you. Oh yeah, and just FYI, I'm doing okay, we're getting there. But I wanted to show you that I am in the 10k DPS club. Almost in the 20k. Um, I think I'm at around maybe 17k at the moment, which is which is okay. Again, if you're if you're chasing the DPS um, train, it's a good place to start. Let's see. Uh, kind of sick off. Ah, why does it always do that? I clicked on it. Um, sick of CCA. Let me see if there's any. No one has is playing any other ones. Infect a conduit. That could be pretty good. Do, 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 do. Whatever one comes up first. Let me see where there's players. Oh, not that good. <laughs> I am not that good. Ah, I was just gonna go the cure found as well. Um, so fleet alert it is. Actually, let me just join that just in case if the fleet alert doesn't. Ah, it's gonna be working fine. Whee! Let's do a little bit of STF, shall we? And again, guys, I want to reach out to you all. Just say thank you for watching. Um, thanks for your support f since the very start of my Let's Play Star Trek Online as well. Um, still, It still amazes me that people watch this. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. So who has what initiated here? Okay. We're going to do that. Ooh, we have two. Ooh. This should be quick. This should be quick. Two scimitars, a guardian, an arbiter, and two arbiters. Lord above. Oh my. Let's do this. Hamilton! Come on! Decimating them. Should be guys over here. Yes, they're eels. Have at you! And there should be guys over here. Oh yeah. Look at you, all alone. Oh! <laughs> Where'd he come from? Okay. Let's gravity well here, shall we? Dun 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 dun! Oh, bit of lag. It's okay. It's okay. Actually, I think what we might do after this as well is maybe do a crystalline. Just to see if we place. Curious. Da 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 da. I don't know why I did rock and roll. It looks good though. Come on. Take the gear. I hate the way it bugs out like that. Oops. Got too close to that explosion. Let me head over here. Come on, you know you want to play with me. Nice. Rock and Solo over here, doing a good job of it. Oh yeah. See, 
Check out this whole wing over here. Ah, leave me alone. I was doing okay. I'm getting some okay, Spike. Time to move back over here. Help out the Guardian. Wave four already. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Na 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 na. Oh my. God, I love gravity wells. Don't you? As you can see, machines aren't taking much of a beating, if you're clever about it. I wish Full Impulse kicked in sooner. Siege group already? Wow. Yes, and I don't have any hotkeys enabled. Not yet, anyway. Do 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 do. Trying to stay away from using my alliance or Nimbus at the moment. Might keep that for CCA. Nice. A lot of pop-ups. Are we clear? That was quick. A little too quick. <laughs> so you can see it's an effective machine to fight with. GG everyone who was in that game. GG. Now. Let's have a look at CCA. Let's see if we can place in CCA. It's doubtful. But um, we'll have a good go. Let's go Crystalline. Advanced. As you can see, everyone is still playing this because they want their shards and they want their dilithium. Whee! Let's do this. Beat me up. Whoever's on... The transporter. La 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 la. La 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 la. Okay, dude. You're A-OK. -okay. Hey, how are you guys up there already? Okay. Straight into the thick of things. My ability still haven't recharged. The joy of it all. Oh, the lag is real. I don't know what it is about this. Like, sometimes it's absolutely fine. And then sometimes it's just chronic. Let's call in Delta on this one. Oh, God, the lag. The lag is real. Hopefully my damage is real. This is probably painful to watch. Ouch. Okay, full heal. Heal me see more. I always forget to do rock and roll. If you rock and roll when that big Bertha drops, you'll avoid the damage. Come on. 
40% already. Nice. Oh, I do apologize. Okay. Hold fire. Let's get to 10k. Resume fire. God damn it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it! 16-15 We are mighty! Nine, eight... This is a pretty quick takedown! I have had the privilege of being in quicker as well. Nice! Okay, didn't place, so we've got some good DPS in this mission. But that was an effective run. Uh, what did I get? I just get ya. Do 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 do. Ooh, and I got a shard as well for all my troubles. So, guys, that's my current build at the moment. And she's very good in um, Borg STFs as well. Who are we firing on? No, oh, over there. No worries. But uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and if you have any questions, by all means. It's the best place to reach out, and if I have the answer, I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you found this video informative or entertaining, why not show some love and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And don't forget, I do have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well if you want to keep in the know with everything tricky. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, and goodbye.